Hello, so in this video I'm going to show you how to add a link into Google Slides or Google Docs or something like that um, that links to a PDF that can be shared with other people. Um, so normally when you would have a PDF file, um, it's actually the file itself with all the data inside of it that you would be emailing somebody. Um, so the key part to doing this step is that that file and all of its data needs to be hosted somewhere um, on the internet. That way people who click on that link can access it. Um, so um, the probably the easiest way to do this is if you are working in Google Slides or Google Drive is that you um, upload that file to Google Drive. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is go to my Google Drive. to be able to upload it. Um, so when you go to upload, you'll probably want to find a, a certain place uh, that's going to be a convenient uh, place to find these documents in the future. So uh, if I just went into my like computer science folder or, or just the place where um, I maybe want it to be out of the way or easy to find later. Um, so just find a good spot in your drive to do that. Um, but if you do this just in your My Drive, it, it works just the same. So then you click on new and then file upload. So I'm assuming that your file is probably in your downloads, but otherwise you would look through somewhere, uh, maybe in the documents or the desktop of where it's located. Um, but mine happens to be in my downloads folder because it's something I just downloaded. You know, maybe you downloaded it from your, uh, from Gmail or something like that. So I find that file there, open it. All right, and then it's going to work on doing the uploads, and, and now it says that the upload is complete. Um, so it's at least in the internet somewhere, but it's not able to be accessed by anybody. So I, I just click on the file right down there, so it opens up um, the PDF here in Google Drive. But I have to set it so that somebody can view it, um, and I have to share it. So I'm going to click on these three dots here, get my face out of the way and share and then you're going to want to use the get link option here um, so i'm inside of a school organization so my options might look slightly different than yours um, but i'm going to click on this thing that says share with sylvania schools because that's going to uh, at least get me into the shareable link option here now I'm going to change my preferences from Sylvania Schools to anyone with the link. Because um, if you're posting this for parents to view or students to easily access, um, then this is just anybody who happens to get the link that you're providing um, will have access to it. And this is still a relatively secure way to share documents uh, because these links are basically impossible to predict. So. Um, someone has to have that specific link in order to access it. Uh, so it's as long as you're careful about who the links go out to, it would still be a secure thing. You'll almost definitely want to keep this as viewer, possibly change it to editor, but I, I doubt it. You're, you're going to want that to say viewer there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on this copy link button right here. And it tells me that my link is copied, so it's almost like I did a control C there and then click done just to get out of this window. All right, so now in my control C in my clipboard, um, I have that link that I can do something with. So let's say I wanna add that link to a Google Slides. Uh, so you have, you know, click some kind of text, click here to see the school calendar, you know, whatever it is. And I wanna highlight the word here And then if I right click, there's always other ways to do this, and link, now, then I'm going to paste that link in. So if I right click again, or control V and paste, that should be the link that um, I just got. So I'll say apply, but you might want to just double check, go ahead and click on it, try to follow it through. So it's at least pointing once it loads, it's at least pointing to the right document here. 
All right, so um, that should be all set to go. So wherever you send this document off to, you know, as long as people can access it, then um, then that link is pointing to the file hosted on the public internet, um, so people would be able to access it. A little trick if you want to test to see if that link is going to work for somebody, um, at least in the way that my Chrome is set up here, if I click on my little profile and open up a guest window, I still have that link in my clipboard. So if I paste and go to that file, see how this document is starting to load. I believe in this video, um, you're not actually going to see this, but you go to that guest that guest window that just pops up um, to test to see if it's going to load or not, um, to prove that you have your sharing settings the way you want it to be.